Connecticut News. As the state's COVID positivity rate climbs near 6% tonight, Bradley International Airport is hard at work setting up a second test site on the property. It's a drive through site. It'll open on Monday. NBC Connecticut's Shannon Miller has more on how it will help passengers and the public during the holiday travel season. No doubt um, it has helped us in terms of increasing our overall traffic uh, at the airport. As Bradley International Airport continues to face an average 75% decrease in passenger traffic, an additional COVID-19 test site taking shape on its grounds. Right now we're doing about 300 tests per day. For the past month and a half, Bradley has been testing passengers at its on-site Genesis Labs location. Executive Director of the Connecticut Airport Authority, Kevin Dillon, says the expanded testing will now allow for passengers passengers to learn about the testing availability in Connecticut. We will be working with the airlines to make it part of the reservation systems that people know when you book a reservation that this exists. I was just doing a, a search on uh, sites around the hotel and none of them were near the hotel. They were far away. For passengers like Teodros Avery, the options at the airport make COVID travel concerns lighter. The site at Bradley is one of Hartford Healthcare's nine drive through locations. This as the hospital group is seeing its testing triple over the last 30 days. The uh, prevalence of the COVID has uh, been increasing. Uh, the demands on testing have continued to rise. Bradley is expecting to see about a 10% increase in travel numbers next week. Still down by 65 percent since last Thanksgiving. It's uh, more convenient than a, a drive through bank teller. The drive through test site has the capacity to test 400 people, including the public, every day. Now, crews will be working to get this test site ready by Monday. It is open to the public and Bradley International travelers. Those test results are expected within 72 hours. In Windsor Lock, Shannon Miller, NBC, Connecticut.